honor to be here. I look around this room, truly, and I see people that I have known for many, many years, all of which should be hanging on that wall before me because of all that you have done to build this community. I'm uh, grateful to be here on uh, behalf of my father, Dale Halverson. What happened to him uh, almost 75 years ago is he showed faith and courage and gave hope to those in uh, Berlin after World War II where he shared two sticks of gum that changed his life forever. He received thousands of letters and drawings from kids answering their questions for reports via Zoom, phone, and in person. It, it takes a, a community to raise up a pillar. And we feel really privileged to have so many people that have been on the journey with us. We all have a part to play. And when I think about this man and the service that he has given and where he comes from his heart, how he gives, how he contributes, how he's driven, not by accolades, not by recognition of any kind, but from a deep desire to just better humanity. You don't have to go out of your way to serve somebody. You just simply do it on your way. It could be a text message that you send them because you saw them and, and sensed that they had heaviness in their heart. And so you sent them a text and said, I just want to let you know I love you today. My father was impressed with the character of these children and genuinely wanted to do something to help them. They had no gum or candy for years. He reached for the two pieces of gum in his pocket and passing them through the fence to the children, found himself promising that he would drop them all some gum and candy on parachutes from airplanes if they would promise to share. That act of kindness and concern for others blossomed into a nationwide endeavor. This small gesture of kindness and the fulfillment of his Christian beliefs moved Dad and his buddies to provide all Berliners something they lost during the war, and that was hope. <laughs>